Hi everybody and welcome back to Beetle Knees Plays. I'm back on, well I'm saying I'm back on, I'm back on, uh, or, or I'm on American Truck Simulator. Um, I, was, I was going to say back on uh, Euro Truck, but uh, no, this is American Truck Simulator. And I thought I would have a look at this because I've not done any videos on this one actually before. I've done Euro Truck before, a few videos, and intend to do a few more of those as well, or a lot more really. Um, but uh, yeah, American Truck Simulator... Uh, not done an awful lot of in the past. I've been on it for the last couple of weeks, say. I've been sort of increasing my level a little bit, uh, working away, doing some convoys with my good mate, Mr. Dino. And we, uh, well, he's a, a little bit ahead of me, but I think I'm up to about level six now. So, um, yeah, should be just there, isn't it, actually? So uh, I thought we'd uh, have a look at a Christmas job or two. So uh, let's get on with it. Yeah, hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So uh, I've had a few people request me do some uh, Euro truck or American truck actually. So I thought I would uh, get on and actually get some done. So here we are. And just to uh, let you know what truck I've got. Uh, some of you will recognize it straight away, I'm sure. Uh, I'm still getting to the ropes with these American trucks to be, to be honest. But uh, if we're going to truck manager and we'll see that it's an international lone star. Uh, now, uh, I did actually buy a bigger engine for it. Um, in fact, I've just got it. I started off with a, the standard engine at 400 HP, but I've upgraded it to 450. And I, I was in a little bit of a, a kind of dilemma, really, because I, I'd, I'd bought this second hand. It had 1% um, wear and tear on it. And I, I, I struggled a little bit in the snow on the Winterland series and I thought mm, I'm not sure about this but I do like the shape of the truck and I look around at some of the other trucks I can get at my level and none of them I quite fancied the shape of quite so much as this this one struck me as soon as I saw it so I made the decision to uh, basically when I got to level six I could upgrade my engine I thought yeah I'm going to upgrade my engine keep the keep the truck and because uh, I do like it I like the interior and everything like that Bought uh, one or two things for it, got one or two mods for it. Uh, with regard to settings and mods, I'll go through those if you like in another video. But we'll just keep it to some gameplay today. So let's come out of there and let's get into this Winterland. Now, if anybody doesn't know about Winterland, it's a series on World of Trucks. So you have to be uh, a member of World of Trucks. If you just search World of Trucks online, if you don't know, then uh, it gives you a lot more sort of different and varied missions than the the stock missions um, and um, we just need to look on here at the top of the screen and it tells you all about it here basically but if we browse contracts we can see that uh, if we need to if we need to scroll along a little bit actually so let's just keep going and eventually you'll come to some Christmas ones the fairly obvious Christmas trailers when you saw that there was one at the bottom there wasn't it uh, let's just have a look at these though so you basically all, all these uh, places you, you 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 go through like a like it's like a portal really so you have to travel to this portal and it takes you into winterland and uh, it looks very pretty indeed I have to say and a, a really good uh, idea for this time of year uh, for the UK at least in the, the northern hemisphere perhaps not uh, so much for you guys in the southern hemisphere if anybody's watching so we have uh, a journey here from uh, Truckee to Arts Workshop and I'm just looking at the cargo mass is 43. To be honest I can't remember what my truck can take although like I say I have just upgraded it but we're not getting an awful lot of money for that though are we either. Let's just move on a little bit more see if anything else I don't think there is anything else is there. They're quite short journeys, to be honest, these uh, Winterland ones. So let, let's drop back to there. Let's choose the biggest amount, just for the hell of it. So that's that's 3.9. What was that one on the bottom of this page? 3.9, that gives us th oh, that gives us 3.9 as well. So and it's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Let's just choose that one. 
let's get on with it. So we begin delivery. And let's see where it takes us. Taking a little while to load in. I'm playing this just out uh, anybody's interest. I'm playing this on a, a 3080. Uh, sorry, not 3080. What am I talking about? I'm playing on a 4070. And uh, it's a Ryzen 9 PC. So. So yeah, anyway, here we are. I want a controller. I want a game box, uh, a game box, um, an Xbox controller. And I've got my wifey poos at the side of me, Megan. I need to get some nameplates, actually. But uh, yeah, quite like this truck. I think it's a very nice truck. Let's have a look from the outside. There we go. Bought some flags for it yesterday. I need to change my twin horns, the, uh, my air horns. They, they, they sound... The sound of it, rubbish. These they're, they're actually part of the Sissel's um, pack, but uh, I, I don't particularly like them, I have to say. But yeah, but uh, yeah, I changed the colour. It was a black one when I initially bought it, it was a used one, as I said, and uh, I decided to paint it this kind of uh, burgundy type colour, I suppose it is really. So, so there we have it. Let's get back inside. Start her up. Navigation resumed. And I need to find. Oops, let's get some lights on first. There we go. Make a U turn. I'm just kind of wondering how to get out of here first, darling. I think I'm driving in the UK here, aren't I? <laughs> Stay on the correct side of the road, Beetle. Keep right. Then continue straight. Ah, oh, lights changed. Continue straight. So, but it's just like in real life, isn't it? How they change just as you're coming up to them. Absolutely typical. And of course, when it stops like this, you run out of things to talk about. But yeah, I've got a few mods going off here. Uh, like as I said, I'll do a, a full video of what mods I have. Uh, you may notice that the... I'll, I'll mention a few as we go along. Um, the lights are looking quite orange. So I can't remember what they call it, but it, it basically changes all the lights to a, a, either an orange or a deeper orange colour. Uh, I do quite like it. Uh, however, I think that the one thing for me is... Oh, we can't go yet, can we? The one thing for me is it, it's just a little bit too orange, I find. I do find it's just that little bit too orange. So, I may do away with it. I don't know. Where are you going? Continue straight. We're just breaking the limit there a little bit, aren't we? And it's early in the morning, so not a lot of traffic about. It's twenty five now. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Take the exit. He wanted to break the speed limit. I think it's the extra power in this truck. So next left. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Well, what we should see are some sparklies. Like I say, you, you, may, you may well have seen this before, so I'm probably trying to teach 
my grandmother to suck eggs, as the saying goes, but. Uh, Take the exit. That's a tight roundabout. In 50 feet, turn left. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm forgetting actually, we need to pick the trailer up first, left. don't we? First of all, get the old trailer. You have arrived. Now, how's the land lie here? You know, backing up to it there, are we? Okay. We'll try and do this from inside. I do find it a little bit easier to lean out of the window when I'm reversing. Okay, let's just open the window for some. That was wrong button. Some atmosphere. There we go. Right. Okay, let's head off. Satnav hasn't booted up yet. So why is the sat-nav not booted up? Let's have a look on the map. Or do we need to travel? I think we need actually we need to travel to the nearest snowflakey thing, don't we? So we will head to that one. Or would it be easier to actually do that one? Let's do that one. Oh no, it's not easy to do that either. Oh, we didn't cancel that first one, did we? Oh, get himself all tongue-tied here. Let me go back in. Making a hash of this, guys. Ah, that's better. No, it's not got rid of it. Well, it's it's down as number one, so we'll leave it at that. I can't be bothered with it anymore. Right, let's get back into it. It's one of the joys of using a controller, to be honest. Although I do have a mouse to hand and a keyboard just uh, for navigation one or two extra resumed. Bits, but. Turn right. Turn left. In 50 feet, turn right. This engine certainly does feel turn like it's right. more powerful, though, I have to say. Feels a lot better. It's a beautiful sunny morning, isn't it, at the moment? Continue straight. Now, the weather mod I'm using, guys, is uh, weather. I'll tell you that on this particular video. We, uh, or should I should say, I started using realistic weather, and I found that quite good, to be honest. Uh, but I, I think, that from what I recall, a nice train there. Look. From what I recall, the raindrops on the windscreen weren't particularly to my liking. And uh, I thought, is there another one out there? So I searched around and found cold rain. So uh, 
install that one. And by the way, I'm using Steam mods. I don't tend to use Pro mods because uh, of all the faff with the updating and everything like that. It's just a bit easier to mess about with the updates on, on Steam. So, uh, yeah, downloaded this uh, Cold Rain and, uh, yeah, quite like that one, actually. And, and I still do, to be honest. But uh, I then tried one. I saw one on a video and it was uh, brutal. Uh, so, was it realistic, brutal, something like that? So, I tried that one and I couldn't seem to get on with that one at all. I don't know what it was about it. At night time, the, the vegetation just seemed to... It's like it was painted with... Uh, Day glow paint or something. Uh, it, it's, it, it just didn't look right to me Continue at all. Continue straight. Uh, weren't sure I liked the colours either of of the world of the environment. So uh, I was looking around for another one, and uh, I've settled on this uh, weather. It's just simply called weather. Uh, there was a version one, version two, and we're now on version three. And I do like it. It's probably, for me, and it's a very subjective thing, some people like different ones. They all get five stars. I'm not knocking any one of these mods, but uh, for me personally, I, I just think that uh, it, it looks the most realistic. I really do like the look of it. Obviously, a lot can depend on how you've got your TV set up as well, what sort of colour gamut you've got and everything like that. When I said TV, I'm playing it on my TV. I'm not playing it on a computer monitor. For anybody that doesn't know me, I do all my... Oops, it's down to 25 again, isn't it? Missing these speed limits as usual. I do all my gaming in my living room. Because that's the way I like to do it. In 50 feet, turn right. Whether I'm playing GeForce now, or PC, or Xbox, I'm playing right. in my living room. I don't have a fancy setup, don't have a fancy desk, or with coloured lights, or anything like that. But uh, I like to be comfortable. What I will look at doing with the, with the mods is uh, because on Euro Truck I, I couldn't get the exact same mods a lot of the time for American Truck, so I uh, I've kind of looked for equivalents if you like. But I'm going to try and keep them similar. I'm going to definitely put this weather mod on Euro Truck. It's currently on Cold Rain on Euro Truck, so I'm going to stick the weather one on there, and also uh, one or two of the others that I've got as well. I downloaded this air seat, which if you notice as we uh, as we drive along, it's a, a bit of a bumpy road, you'll notice that the seat actually uh, bounces up and down, which uh, it gives it a really, really good effect. I really like it. Now, I, I did read somewhere. Now, somebody may correct me in the comments. And please, yeah, dro drop a comment. Thank you all for the comments. Anybody that has commented that's watching the video, thank you very, very much for commenting. It's, uh, it's really great to have the community out there. So please drop a comment, anything you like. It doesn't really matter. But it would be great to hear from you. I forgot what I was going to say now. It's kind of just concentrating on this narrow gap. I can't remember where I was. Ooh, a bit close. Scenery is terrific, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. It may come back to me. It's not coming back to me for the moment. Now, what I did want to say, though, guys, is... Um, a little bit of uh, news. I'm not so sure how much this is legit. It's just what I've heard. But they, uh, SES, uh, the devs, 
or, or, they, or they have created a new version of the engine that this runs on. So, uh, American truck and ETS to a, a kind of bye bye. It's on to a, a, an updated version of the engine, and the reason they've done this, they say, is it's because they, I think the I think the current engine is something like 20, 20 odd years old, about 24, 25 years old, something like that. So it's an old, old engine, and they've updated it as they've gone and stuff like that. But they've created a whole new kind of base engine, I think, a core, you know, the core of it and what have you, and it allows for lots of different things to be done on it, adding lots of new features and uh, I don't think this has been said specifically but it's potentially leading the way to it being released on console. Now this is just my opinion on what I've heard up to now guys, it's nothing concrete, it's just, but I, I cannot see how or why In 50 feet, turn right. SCS would not want to bring this game to console. It is, it is such a brilliant game. It is such a money spinner. Turn right. And this new engine that they've developed, or the update of this engine that they've developed, uh, it's one, uh, 1.5. We're looking at. So when we get to version 1.5, apparently things should be moved over to the updated version. And like I say, it's got multi-core capabilities, so. That does open the door for console versions. Now that would be really, really exciting. If this game could get out onto console, it would be absolutely brilliant. It really would. I mean, I hope SCS can get it to work Keep nicely right. on console. I don't then, see why they can't. The X's on the right. But, um, but yeah, it would be great to see it on console, wouldn't it? it take really the X's would. on the right. I really hope that that comes to fruition. So yeah, it's. Uh, I think it works on DX12 and Vulcan as well. So uh, it's got those capabilities. So uh, so yeah, exciting times. Exciting times, really is. Oh, here we are. We're here at our. Is this our one, or is it the next one? Might be the next one on. Well, can we get to it from here? Might be able to get to it from here actually. Oh, we've got traffic behind us now. Can we actually get into that? Let's just see if we can get into that. There we go. Right, let's stop the engine. And then we press A and that should transfer GPS, us signal lost. into Winterland. Resumed. Oh yes, I'm remembering now. The uh, the sat nav was carrying on to the second one, wasn't it? Which, which I didn't want to go to. So uh, we did the right thing in the end. So let's just get the engine started. Navigation resumed. So here we are in Winterland, guys. If you've not seen this, I mean, you probably have, as I said, and probably speaking to the initiated, already initiated. But uh, but yeah, there we go. That's Winterland for you. And it looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? it? Really, does. I do wish. I know you can get pro mods uh, with the snow on and stuff like that, but I do wish that uh, that they could get some snowy areas. You know, when you're going into northern Europe or into the Rockies, for example, and stuff like that, you got some snow. It would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, and who knows? That this this updated version of, of the engine may may well provide that facility. You know, to to be able to have dynamic weather. Uh, and changeable weather and everything like that it would be absolutely fantastic who knows what this new update can bring so yeah absolutely fantastic news guys uh, really looking forward to it now the stats coming out you're on 1.49 now so it's coming out on the 1.5 so so they say so uh, let's uh, let's keep our eyes peeled for that so anyway let's uh, let's get on with our journey Now the only slight thing on this Winterland uh, area is uh, th there's relatively little traffic. You don't seem to come across an awful lot of traffic on this particular map. But it, it's kind of showcasing what 
what SCS can do with the environment. And it, and it does look great. It really does look great, doesn't it? Just look at that, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. And the, the truck can slide around as well. It's, um, you know, it's it, it has got some... It's not really showing it there, but you can kind of lose control of your truck if you're not careful. I did actually upgrade my tyres though from the first time I tried this, so uh, I'm hoping that they've got a little bit better grip. In 50 feet, turn left. Turn left. So I put the brakes on really hard there, guys, and you can see that it take it took ages to stop. But we'll have a look at outside on that and just see. Am I am my wheels spinning up there? Yeah, difficult to tell, isn't it? They're perhaps spinning up a little bit. Difficult to tell. I'm looking at the back ones. Don't know. It's difficult to tell, isn't it? We'll just get down here a little bit and I'll put the brakes on hard. and let, We'll do it from outside and have a look. Get a little bit of a straight bit of road. Perhaps just round this next right hander. And basically, what once you've completed your mission, you can take then uh, missions back to the normal map, and then take another mission back into this map. So you In can 50 feet, swap and change between right. the two. Turn right. You may have noticed I've got this kind of uh, glow going off. I don't know why, why have I got that at the top of the screen? Where's that coming from? I don't know, don't know where that's come from, if I'm honest. Don't know why that's happened, guys. I've only just noticed it. In fact, I seem to have a board around the screen, don't we? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know why that's happened. Difficult to tell whether the wheels are spinning or not. It's really difficult. But let's put the brakes on. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they do, they do. They slide a little bit, don't they? They do slide a little bit. But it's probably more noticeable going downhill, to be honest. I do apologise about the bar at the top and bottom. I don't know why that has appeared at all. I only seen, I've only noticed it really since we entered this map. So whether it's got something to do with this map, I don't know. But we have still got the majority of the screen there, so. In 50 feet, it's turn left. No big deal at the moment. Where we're turning left there. Turn left. This next one, isn't it? Well, this looks gorgeous, guys, doesn't it? Let's just stop for a moment, have a look down there. Look at that. Really gorgeous. They've done a really good job of it. How far have we got to go? We've got 20 miles to go. 20 game miles, that is. As you can see, th turn left. there's not a lot of traffic knocking about. That's possibly the only slight downside to it. Oops, is it that one or the next one? No, it's the next one, isn't it? Turn left. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, when that bar took my uh, my notice, uh, I've got this like uh, bluey, bluey glow knocking about. Which, uh, 
which I like. I've got that on Euro Truck actually, similar kind of thing. I do like a, this blue glow you can have in the cabin. You can have different colours as well. What is the time? 11.05 a.m. So it's quite dark for 11.05, isn't it? Very, very dull. They're still struggling up them hills a little bit. I don't know why it is particularly, but... Uh, let's just try applying them brakes now. Yeah, you can see they've got a definite slide on there, definite slide on. <laughs> the mountains in the distance as well. How cool is that with the sun on them? Absolutely brilliant. In fact, I think that's shot time, isn't it, really? Although, I've got this pink banner at the top of the screen, haven't I? Which is a bit of an issue. But uh, let me just take a quick shot of that take one with the Christmas tree as well just go a little bit further down sorry to take the time up guys Let's go for that. Okay, back on our way. I can always crop it a little bit if I've got the banner at the top. It's almost like it's kind of gone off, off back to this Steam desktop, really. It's a bit weird. Sliding on the old steering there. You do have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, I, I think since I upgraded the engine, though, it, it seems to be purring along a lot easier than it was before. In 50 feet, turn right. A lot better. Turn right. Ah, oh, you realise that. We're just pulling in forwards here, aren't we? You have arrived. I have. And there we go, guys. That is our first recorded delivery on Winterland and on uh, ATS as well so got excellent excellent score and uh, as you can see we can look at uh, current company job offers there and uh, we can continue as well which I, I will continue um, because I'm not going to carry on the video with this uh, banner at the top so uh, we will call it a day at that let's just have a quick look at these though so uh, driven distance 109 miles time taking 28 minutes 36 gallon of uh, sorry 35 gallons of fuel consumed and uh, I've completed 10 World of Truck um, contracts on uh, ATS. And I don't know whether that means the Winterland ones or just in total. Uh, so we've got uh, 3,772, 
uh, reward plus a 190 giving us 3962 and we've got 177 xp plus 15 giving us a total 192 so there we go and working my way up to level seven so thank you very very much for watching guys remember please 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 subscribe to the channel please give the video a big thumbs up i really want to make this channel grow in the next 12 months and uh, it's been great having you along and we will catch you on the next one so take care and bye for now